I'm about to document how I connect my Yolobox Pro to Zoom meetings via the ATEM Mini. My Yolobox Pro has got a new firmware upgrade. What's new in firmware version 1.1.0? You can now output your HDMI signal, both audio and video, to ATEM Mini, live view encoders, TVs and camera monitors with confidence. Install! The installation took slightly over 6 minutes. If I go into my profile account, I can see that YOLO Pro OS firmware is now version 1.1.0. I just learned that a firmware update is not the same as a software update. A firmware is what runs the entire system, just like an iPhone iOS. And a software update is like an iPhone apps, software that runs on the firmware. Now, let me test the HDMI output of the YOLO Box Pro into the ATEM Mini both the video and audio signals. Previously, only the video gets in. Right now, the Yolobox Pro HDMI output is connected to the HDMI input number 2 of my ATEM Mini. I have to let the audio in by turning on the audio for input number 2. The webcam output of the ATEM Mini goes into, into the USB-C port of my MacBook. When I open a Zoom meeting, Zoom automatically detects the ATEM Mini as an external webcam. Right now, we have two participants, myself and I. Myself is using the Mac, which is connected to the Yolobox Pro and ATEM Mini, and I am a remote viewer using the iPhone. So if I were to switch to a pre-recorded video on the Yolobox Pro, I can now hear the audio. Now, if we don't want to present the Yolobox Pro dashboard, we can always go into the Yolobox Pro settings, go to Program Out, and enable it. There. Check out the links below to watch more of my reviews on the Yolobox Pro and the ATEM Mini. Like and share this video. Leave a comment or question. And if you haven't done so, subscribe! This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.